Hi everybody, Scrappy Kathy here with Scrap Squad Sunday. And I'm trying a little bit different camera placement today. Have I've kind of turned my phone upside down so that the image won't be upside down or the video won't be upside down. So anyway, here is the original and it's, um, it was a low resolution image, so it only printed uh, this big. It's got a little bit up at the top with a like a little banner and it's got a similar thing down at the bottom. Um, a nine uh, square uh, grid with a title in one square and a big old uh, cluster. It's a holiday page and it has three photos. I only have two. And mine was uh, a lunch, photos of our food and drink, <laughs> and, and a lunch after uh, uh, Christmas shopping. Absolutely one of the best meals I've ever had in my life. Just a really amazing um, uh, slab of mahi-mahi with crab meat and uh, shrimp, grilled shrimp, and um, kind of honey glazed carrots with pistachio nuts. And I tried to duplicate the honey glazed carrots last night for dinner, didn't have any pistachio nuts in the kitchen. So James said that my, um, my version was kind of a passable, uh, substitute. <laughs> so I suppose that's as much of a compliment as I'm going to get. Um, so I have used more of these wood grain um, uh, papers from this amazing little uh, six by six pad to cut my squares. And I've used red and orange or red and yellow ones. So I'm going to kind of see and I'm going to substitute a camera for a couple of grid pieces and I'm going to layer the title over this one. So we'll we'll see how all this works out. And I have um I have distressed these. I have my title's going to come from here and it's going to be time spent together. I'm going to cut it apart and and put it into pieces and then maybe embellish around it. We'll see. Okay, so the paper crumbs were everywhere. Let me get that kind of positioned there. Uh, I'm going to go with, oh, let's go with the, the dark red here and a yellow there and the first photo there. And I'm thinking that's about the right placement, but let me be sure. Second photo. Third bit. And I'm gonna turn that like that. And then the camera's gonna go here and this will go there. I, I think that's about as good as I'm gonna get. So what I'm gonna do is kind of ruffle the edges and put the adhesive kind of right back at the middle so I can curl those more if I decide I want to. more paper crumbs coming and I'm I've got uh, adhe or um, foam on the back of the photos so that they will kind of stand up there's a very slight uh, perception of depth that you get when you do that and it's not real in your face obvious but it's it's subtle and it in the 
the brain perceives it as those are more important than the ones that are flat, which is kind of a trick that I use with embellishments all the time. I make the ones that I want to make the, the ones that I think make a statement. I put um, foam behind them. And you knew that about me. Okay, I put some foam behind here. I'm gonna go ahead and, and kind of put it right there and then build my cluster here. Now for this cluster, and I have more room at the top. Well, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this butterfly here and then I'm going to use a couple of um, these are leaf sprigs that are left over from yesterday's project and I'm going to use the reverse side and kind of put them, which is kind of a, a grayish greenish color. I don't think the purple's gonna, gonna work here. Okay, let me kind of mash that down. Okay, anyway, let me, oh, I have to, have to watch this and keep it keep it in frame. I haven't quite got the um, everything. Let me line this up with the lines here and then try to line up the camera that way. That still kind of has things at a wonky angle, but it may be easier to to work with. I've got Anyway, I've got these um, leaf sprigs from 49 and Market. That I wanted just to kind of be the background for these florals from um, Vicki Booten's Discover and Create. And everything on this page came from um, the November Mind the Scrap Kit. Okay, so I'm covering up that leaf and that's okay. I've got this Laurel that's gonna kinda go right there. And I may pull in some other leaves if I can find ones. And I'll kind of make it look like it's part of that background grouping. And I'll, I'm kind of curling these because they are very flat. Just want to give a little bit of dimension. Okay, so for the upper and lower bits, I'm going to use border stickers. And I think I'm going to go with this orange and yellow. And I'm going to do a piece 
right across there. So I'm going to cut it here without regard to how much is left because I don't mind if the bottom piece is smaller, shorter than the, the top piece. So let me turn this over and get this. Let me make sure this is in, in frame so you're seeing it. Um, I think that works. And I'm going to use this instead of the banner that goes across. I'm just going to repeat these leaves. And I have. I'm going to take the stem off here. And I'm going to glue, let's see, this has foam that's going to stick it. That will work, and then I want this one a little bit kind of glued down. Okay, so there, and now I will do the bottom one, and I'm going to do it shorter. It is shorter, so I'm going to put it here kind of even with this side of that one, and then I'll put my leaf cluster here. Is that the best leaf cluster? Let's start hunting down leaf clusters. Do I maybe want a, a bigger one like this here. I don't think so, but how about if I trimmed that much off and, and put it here and then layer this one not liking that so <laughs> let's go back to layering this one and i'll maybe put it like so and then if i feel like i want to go back with something else i can do that the main thing is I want to cover up the fact that this doesn't go all the way across. So having this right there is good. But I also think I want some fairly vivid orange, don't you think? Um, maybe actually I'd like something that comes up this is kind of in the same color family and it's the same type of leaves so I'm gonna cut these off and have them coming up like this and then I'll just trim them off maybe uh, like so I will glue this down and I'll put this one on some foam 
and then I'll trim off the edges. Even though the styles of the 49 and Market leaves and the Vicky Bruton flowers are very different, um, uh, for some reason, uh, I think they work together. I, I wasn't sure I'd like it, but I've done a couple pages now with them, and I'm thinking they're great together. And Emma is the genius who sees things like that, which is why her kits are always wonderful, and she's taking a break from kits after um, December. Okay, so now I need the title and, and to see whether I want any other embellishments, let's say, from the uh, sticker sheet. Okay, so time spent together. I kind of like this um, heart with the leaf sprig. And I might end up putting it right there. I shouldn't have taken it off, should I? I'll bring it back. Okay, so here we go with that cut. And then I'm gonna use foam behind it to raise it up. This is an unusual combination of uh, styles. And for me, it's an unusual combination of colors, although it perfectly reflects the colors in the food. So I'm thinking it's, uh, it's all right. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Get in a little. Matthew McConaughey. Okay, let's see. Let's do time spent together. And I'm gonna kinda put it at a little bit of an angle. And this next one's gonna be a little bit of a different angle. there and now well, let's see if there's I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna put it on two pieces of foam one on each part of the heart And I'm going to layer a red heart underneath. There is a really cute little red checkered heart right here. And it's kind of going to be tone on tone. Because instead of layering it out here like I first thought, I think I'm going to layer it like this. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to leave this stem kind of sticking out like that. Uh, in the original, there were quite a few. Uh, let me see if I can find the original now. What did I do with it? Um, anyway, you're gonna have to trust me on this. <laughs> In the original, there were some um, splatters or dots or, or some kind of mixed media texture. So what I'm going to do is put little, I'll pick the orange, yellow, and red, coralish red-ish um, hearts and just kind of scatter them around. Kind of 
kind of off this way and and I'm not going to worry about which way the hearts are pointing And let's see. I think I'm done. Should I throw in a couple green ones just for for fun? Um, I'm I'm done with those those. Parts. Let me put those back in here. And I'm going to pull some. Let's see. I think I saw a word strip. Let me. There's another butterfly. It's a little bit different style. but I'm thinking I want it right there. And it's a sticker, so I'm gonna go ahead and lay it flat. And I'm looking for something pretty and colorful that could go here. Maybe, um, I'm gonna take a strip of this border and kind of layer it flat on this on this guy. Okay, and let's see if there's something that could, ah, and we laughed. I like that. Because we did. I'm gonna put some glue on this so that it, I don't want it kind of folding back and, and getting ugly. And I maybe put a little too much glue, but it'll dry clear. So now, right there. And that kind of added that little bit of green. Let's see if there's anything on here. I kind of like these labely things, but I don't necessarily want to break. I guess I could do it here. What's the best color to use? I'll use this orange one. Ooh, it's wider than the photo. So I'm not gonna use that. I'll use one of the labels that's thinner and I'll use this kind of dark orange one and I really didn't want to write anything on it um, I think I'm going to use the other one once I get started you know I'm going to have trouble stopping I'm going to use the other one over on the other side of this photo not just kind of 
highlights that they are the photos as opposed to just squares in the grid. And there was something else. I think I'm going to leave it. I think I'm going to leave it. I will add some journaling about, um, well, why don't I just add it now? Okay. And why not in this red spot? After Christmas shopping, We had a fab meal. And told lots of stories. And the date on this was, let's see, 12th, 11th, 10th, I guess it was 12, 10. Um, and I'm just gonna write that somewhere right here. All right. I'm done, and that day is documented. It seems like I need something here because there's more white space here than there is here. Do I need? Does that kind of balance it? It sort of does to me. The other thing I could have done was take a border strip and kind of put along there, but this may be better. I'm going to try to slide it under there. And I don't have any dimension there, and that's okay. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next Sunday for Scrap Squad Sunday. And uh, tomorrow I have to make up for the fact that I didn't do a, a, um, a scrap backwards Monday last this past week. So I'll, <laughs> I'll have to do something double good. So <laughs> stay tuned. <laughs> Bye.